right, guys. So I'm on the way to pick up my bees. I'm super excited. My beekeeping season starts right now, and we're gonna go pick them up. Um, they're just in a parking lot, and all my stuff is waiting back at my house. I think this is it. Right there in that little package right there that little wooden package is the queen she's in there waiting to be released and all these bees right here on top is that metal thing this metal thing right here is the feeder so they've been feeding off of that sugar syrup since they got in here we're gonna put them in the hive soon so we've got our package of bees here um it is about 4 20 um here on april 29th it is overcast and we're about to and we're about to um, install our package of bees. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out uh, three of our middle frames. Actually, how about two, what the heck? Then we have three on either side. So we're taking out two frames in the middle so that we have a place to dump our honeybees right in. But what we have to do first is we have to get the queen. So the queen is gonna be in a she's gonna be in a little in a little package okay so when you open up this is this pan right here is our feeder and that's what they've been feeding off of since they've been in this package and so what we're gonna do is um after you take out the pan we're gonna see a little package of a queen we have our hive tool over there too dad oh, they, see that yellow crowbar looking thing so this yellow crowbar looking thing is called a hive tool and it's used for prying apart the boxes because the bees actually glue, they use a wax to glue the boxes together. So to get your hive apart once they've, it's called propolis, so once they've propolized the hive you use this to dig in and break open the hive. But we also use, the hive tool is kind of just a good tool for a lot of different things. We also use it to open up the feeder. So what we're gonna do here, it's a can, we're gonna take it out. Too many, um, uh, right before we do that, I just remembered, we're gonna need to make sure that we get the bees wet so that they can't fly around too much and cause too much trouble. So we are going to, would you hand me that plastic bottle of sugar water right there? So what we're gonna do, it looks really violent, but it's really not. We're gonna take this sugar water, and it's just a plastic bottle with some holes taken out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray them, just like that, on both sides, if you flip it over. We're gonna spray them, flip it over, on both sides of the package. This is a wooden package. Sometimes you get them and they're plastic. Same, same principle here. And then it looks really violent, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna smack them so that they fall down to the bottom. Again, it looks really violent. So now they're all in the bottom. Shouldn't cause too much trouble. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hive tool. And we're gonna take out the feeder and I'm gonna get the queen really fast. So you can take it out. Trying to get her. Hi. All right, so you can put the feeder back in. I just wanna show them the queen really quick. There she is. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera. Exposure. There we go. There she is right in there. It's a little wooden cage. So, yep. There she is, right in there. All right, so I'm gonna take off the cork of the queen. 
so you just uh, pick it up and kind of shake it. Yeah, so we're shaking them in. They kind of just fall in like, I don't know, a liquid or something. Our queen fell, but that's okay. I retrieved her. She's okay. See, look, the bees are crowding around her because she is she is the important thing about the hive. You can be really rough with them. They really don't care much. Yeah, she's gonna stay in, all right. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're looking for her. So as long as she's in the hive, they're gonna try and go into the hive to find her, right? So they can actually smell her, and even if they're dumped outside, they'll come in, and they'll find you at the end. Of the, they'll find the queen at the end of the day. They're kind of tipsy because they are wet. Do you want more out? All right, that's probably enough. Yeah, you can just set it upside down right at the entrance. So you just want to set the package right at the entrance, so they'll just come into the hive. Because remember, the queen is in the hive, so they just want to be with her. So they'll just come into the hive because they can smell her, right? So I just took the cork off, and I put her there. Now they'll watch after her. We're, we're continuously smoking the entire time. All right, so I'm editing this video, and I just realized that I said that smoke, I basically said that smoke is good. That's kind of inf misinformation because the more smoke, actually not the better. So use as little smoke as you need to. Um, less is definitely more, and it'll actually make the bees more aggressive over time if you use smoke a lot. So definitely use it in little amounts, and they won't get too angry at you later down the road in a couple of weeks, right? Um, they just don't like it eventually, and so that was actually misinformation. A little bit of smoke goes a really long way. Now we can put our flames back in that we took out in the beginning. Careful not to squish too many bees. cover all right hold on just a minute see that little gap right there yeah that gap caused me some serious problems later down the road all right now that's not great because that means that the all right so and we can uh, the, the way you want to do this is you don't want to push it right on top because that'll squish a bunch of bees. The way you want to do this is you just want to knock them off. They can kind of be knocked around. And the way you do it is you really just want to slide it on, right? That way you won't squish too many bees. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the feeder on. Actually, not quite yet, Dad. I need that big jar. All right, so this is another mix of one to one sugar and water. This is our feeder. You got to use a feeder because when they get in here into their new hive, they have nothing. They have no resources, no food. So you got to help them out to boost them. Again, you don't want to push it right on top. You kind of want to slide it on so you don't squish too many bees. Yep, just like that. So now our feeder's on, our top lid is on, and tomorrow all these bees will be in here, and I'll check on them tomorrow and see how they went. All right guys, so it is the next morning after installing the package, and these bees are almost all, see there's almost none in there. Almost all the bees are out, and they're going into their new box. 
All right, I would say that went pretty well. The transfer from the package to the hive went really well. Um, obviously, it was a couple weeks ago. The hive has changed a little bit, but um, I'm documenting all that, so you guys get to watch that as it goes through the season. Um, I just haven't released those videos yet. I definitely plan on. But um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely uh, subscribe, like this video, and share it with one of your friends. Lil Dudes Insect Academy is the name of this channel, and um, I'm Braden Coy. I'm 15, and I love to share my passion for bugs with anybody and everyone that I can. Um, also, my, my love for the natural world, all that stuff. And so that's just what this is right here on YouTube. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm documenting my first season as a beekeeper. This is in no way a how-to guide or anything about beekeeping that way but it is just me documenting my first season, see how, how it goes, and give you guys some pointers on how you guys can do better than I did. Um, so basically I'm sharing my mistakes and the things that went well and maybe the things that you should do differently. Um, I also have a free podcast all about entomology where I um, interview real life entomologists from all over the world on there. Um, it's absolutely free to you guys. You guys can go check it out, link in description. But yeah this is what i'm doing here this is just another way for me to share my passion with you guys uh, i also have a patreon account which is also linked in the description where you guys can go on there and support me monthly to help me buy a new camera so um your, your guys's viewing experience will get better um but i just need a new camera for that so um here on youtube you got your guys's quality will go up and up as you guys support me through through my patreon so that would really help me out a lot increase the production value of these videos for you guys and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it um, leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video